The purpose of this video is to give you a quick overview of how to navigate Bloomberg Law. There will be supplemental videos that focus on how to search for cases, statutes, and other legal materials. There are three distinct parts of the Bloomberg Law platform that you should be aware of. First, the top Bloomberg Law menu is where you can access the research trail, your account, and the help screen. The next part that you should be aware of is the Go Bar. The Bloomberg Law Go Bar allows you to search cases, news, companies, people, and other databases within Bloomberg Law. Search supports three search methods, keyword, citation, and autocomplete for company and people names. The Go Bar also supports Boolean terms and connectors. Let's try looking for sources related to Bill Gates. Simply enter in your terms, and then select from the drop-down what you want to search across. The options include court opinions, citations, court opinions by case name, dockets by party name, secondary sources, news search, companies, and people. If you want to search across all of these, you would just enter your terms and click Go. Once you have a list of results, you can edit your search, or you can limit your results using the filters on the left side of the screen. The next part of the system you should be aware of is the Bloomberg Law menu. The menu allows you to navigate through the Bloomberg Law system. The menu is represented by a series of boxes. The home box represents your home page. The default home page is Bloomberg Law. You can change your home page by clicking on Change Home Page, selecting your new home page, and then clicking Save. Once you have selected a new home page, that content will appear every time you click on Home. Unless you practice in a specific area, you will most likely keep your home page as Bloomberg Law. The Bloomberg Law homepage has several features that you should be aware of. The Getting Started box connects you to the top resources for conducting legal research. This is a great box to use to access the search screen for legal content, court opinions, statutes and regulations, and dockets. The Recent Activity box provides you with your most recent research that you have conducted on Bloomberg Law. Further down the page you can find other useful information and links such as news and analysis, law school resources, secondary sources, transactional resources, and morning briefings. Search and Browse is another important box to be aware of. Search and Browse will connect you to a resources search box. For example, if we click on Search and Browse and then All Legal Content, we will arrive at the search box for all the legal content available on Bloomberg Law. This search screen is similar to one that you should see if you just search court opinions, statutes, or regulations. The main part of the search screen is the search box. The right side of the screen includes links to specialized searches and quick sources, which includes your favorite resources or recently used resources. When using the search box, you can use Select a Source to search for a source to search across. Let's say you want to search for Supreme Court opinions. You would type in Supreme Court and select U.S. Supreme Court opinions. You should see your source appear under the source directory with a red circle beside it. Anytime you select a source, it will appear at the bottom. You can remove a source by clicking on the red circle. You can save a source as one of your favorites by clicking on the star located beside the source. To browse for a source in a directory, click on the plus signs located beside the sources. If I wanted to find the United States Code, I would click on the plus beside U.S. Legislative, and then select United States Code. The eye located beside each source will provide information on coverage, description, and content. In some instances, you may also be able to browse the table of contents of a resource by clicking on Browse TOC. The Keywords box is where you would put in your search terms. If you are unsure of what types of search operators you can use, click on Search Operators, and a list of options will appear. You can also select a specific date range. Once you have made your selections, you can hit Search 
or set up an alert. The other menu boxes will allow users to access resources by type or by topic. Practice Centers allows users to access resources for a specific area of law. For example, let's click on Bankruptcy. You can see that all of the legal resources and news on this page relate to bankruptcy. Litigation and Dockets allows you to access those resources that would be beneficial for an attorney when preparing for litigation, such as primary law, rules, and dockets. If you click on litigation resources, you will come to a screen that has links for most of the primary sources you would need in law school and in practice, such as court opinions, federal and state codes, and federal and state regulations. Transactional law includes resources attorneys would use if they practice transactional law. Legislative and regulatory is a great place to start if you're only looking for statutes and regulations. Legal analysis and news includes the secondary sources available on Bloomberg Law and all of the news sources available. If you click on Books and Treatises, you can see that Bloomberg organizes its secondary sources by publisher and by area of law. News is organized by legal news, top news, and news by topic. Finally, companies and markets is a great place to start your research on companies or get information on the stock market. Let's now take a quick look at what a person and company profile looks like in Bloomberg Law. We'll use Bill Gates again as an example. A person profile will include an individual's address, news pertaining to that individual, career history, compensation, stock holdings, education, awards, board memberships, publications, board committees, and other miscellaneous facts about the individual. The extent of this information will vary depending on the individual. Now let's look at a company. For the company, we will look at Microsoft. A company page will provide you with a quick overview of the company, links for company information, news pertaining to the company, the company's market performance, company data, federal litigation, and dockets pertaining to that federal litigation. Again, the extent of this information will vary depending on the company. That is it for your introduction to the Bloomberg Law Platform.